Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Crypt and welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna go over um, a little bit more advanced stuff on the Lua script, all right? Now, before we get over this, uh, let's make sure you guys know how to get to my website. So you're gonna go on your browser. So you're gonna go on your browser and then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna either search up for Crypt AP on your browser or you're just gonna type in the actual link of my website, which is on the screen right now. And this is my website, all right? Now I'm gonna teach you guys how to get around my website real quick okay just so you know how to download free stuff because i have free application on my website that you can download okay i also have some paid stuff that you can pay for okay now let's get over here so here we're in the home page right now which just displays some information for you let's get over to the member page now you gotta sign up to my website which is totally free okay for you to get on my member page let's do that right now click here on the member page let's sign up so now i'm signed up and now i have access to the member page okay I have over here some applications. I have Overtunes, which I made a video about, Simple Recoil, okay, which is the actual Lua scripts that I let you guys, um, that I pro I'm programming with you guys, okay? So after this video, there's gonna be a current version 2.0. It's gonna be 2.0. It's gonna be updated today, okay? I have Case Simple, which is a recoil, uh, recoil uh, reducer, okay, very simple. And I have Fast Loot also over here, which works for every single game. And I have Lua um, V6, okay? All right, cool. So now let's get over to the actual tutorial. All right, now we're here in the Logitech Gaming Hub. Now, you probably already know how to get, get around Logitech Gaming Hub. I taught you guys how to get around in the last video, but let's go over it one more time. So here we're in the main screen. Okay, I have my three accessories. I have my G502, my G910, and my Pro X headset, okay? I'm gonna come over here to accent profile on the top. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna go to my desktop, and now I still have my simple recoil profile right here. I'm gonna click on the scripting icon right here, okay? Now, as you guys can see, I have V6. I have um, a selection over here, which I can click, okay? Um, V6 is just my Lua V6 um, uh, recoil, okay? I'm gonna use a simple script, which is the one I made last time with you guys. As you can see over here, it says tutorial, just like I did it last time. And now I'm gonna click on edit script at the bottom right here. And now it's gonna open another page. Okay guys, so now we have the um, simple scripts open right here, okay? As you guys can see, there's no changes. I made no change, no changes whatsoever, okay? Now, I have a little error on the application right now. Um, let's see if we can identify the error. All right, so the error is actually this little dot right here, okay? I'm gonna press Ctrl S now and everything is working out properly, okay? And that should show you guys how simple an error can be, okay? Errors can be very simple, and sometimes very complex but usually errors are made when you write your code without stopping right you want to write code um in a way that you write a little bit and you test write a little bit and you test write a little bit and you test it out you don't want to write a whole program and then test it out at the end there's going to be a lot of errors in there okay because everybody makes errors here we are all humans we all make mistakes so that's just to show you guys how simple an error can be. Just having a little period right there, a little dot right there. That can give me an error, a little comma, right? That can give me an error. Because this the, the code, the application, right? The Lua script, the language does not know what to do with this comma. Right? Anyways, cool. We have the same code that we have from last time here. Now we're gonna add a few more things. First of all, we're gonna add a conditional. Top right here, we're gonna do if. Um, now, before we actually do anything else, let's go over here to help and let's open the scripting API. And additionally, let's open the let's open the Lua online reference. All right, guys. For some reason, I, I was not able to open using this button right here. I don't know why. Something's wrong with it, but I don't care. So um, I just opened the PDF online. Okay. Um, so here we have the G series Lua API v 8.45. Okay. And um, let's actually go down right here on contents okay and let's look for what we want so we want what what i want to do is i want to have a keyboard press so if the user is pressing the keyboard um non-lock right i want to make sure if the non-lock button is pressed then the script should work right and why is that well that's because we don't want to activate the script every single time we actually press the aim button and left click together Sometimes you may just be pressing the aiming button to aim a grenade, right? And we don't want the grenade to go down, right? We don't want the cursor to go down when you're pressing a grenade or else you're going to explode yourself. So you want to have some sort of, some sort of toggle toggle button, right? Like a non-lock, right? Or caps lock, whatever it is, right? So we're going to go down here. We're going to search for that. Now, you can just scroll down or you can just type 
or you can just come over to the reference and you can look for it so let's look for price and release that's good um let's see if there's anything else we can use is modifier press let's do that one so is modifier press uh no that's not the right one right because modifier press works for sh works for shift it's so like if you want to have um shift activated if you want to press shift to activate a recoil we can use this right but we don't want to use that let's see let's go back to the top and let's go to yeah this one like we saw before um press now you want to check if something is pressed we don't want to press it we want to check if something is pressed so that's not it either this modified press we just went over it that's not it either we don't want to press a mouse button right that's not it we don't want to press and release oh is mouse button press okay we're getting close we don't we want it for keyboard so maybe not is mouse button press move mouse to no none of these none of these get mouse position now we don't want to get the mouse position um play macro now we don't have to play the macro is key lock on huh so now lock is a key lock right because a key lock works as a key lock is actually it's a uh, actually it's pretty straightforward it's a key that locks itself right when you press it it locks on that state and the only way you can turn off that state is by toggling off again is by pressing the key again and that's when you release it right the difference between a normal key and a key lock is that when you press a key right that key will stay pressed as long as it's a physical force or of course a coding force against it right however a not a key lock works differently a key lock works so that when you press a key you can already let go and that key will stay on that state so like for example if you press caps lock you're gonna be typing caps until you press caps lock again that's what it means so let's do that let's try it out so I'm guessing so there's a there's not a lot of information here but i'm guessing there's a condition over here that i can follow so let's do that right now so let's copy this condition right there uh let's do that then then what then we want to do all of this right now this looks ugly so i want to make sure i'm going to indent all of this there you go so now let's count our ends and our ifs and our functions so one function means we have we need one end. here we need another end not the end and not the end. How many ends do we have? We have one, two, three, and four. Okay. All right. So now here we have the actual script. Okay. Now you should take off those parentheses. Okay. Because you don't need those parentheses to cover this function. Okay. It will work with this parenthesis issue, but there's, you actually don't need it. Um, just because, like, it, it's up to you, honestly. This is just so it looks better. What uh, The parenthesis just makes it look better. For me, I just find it more confusing. I like to keep only one parenthesis, which shows that we're actually looking for this key right here. Okay, but it is up to you. It's honestly up to you. All right. So, now we have a simple code. One line. Okay. And this... Is a toggle on and off so if non lock is on our keyboard and we press the aiming key and we press left click it's gonna go down now if we turn off non lock on our keyboard and we press the aiming key and left click is not gonna do not nothing's gonna happen so then how can you actually make a cool script just from this well what if you actually made a macro so that you put non lock on your mouse somewhere in your mouse like in a g button and then you can press that on and off to turn on or to turn on and off your recoil so let's try that out and see if it works so let's save this script let's close it off let's open logitech let's go back right here let's make sure we're in the same profile simple recoil let's go to g502 let's go to assignments and then on commands let's look for command actually keys sorry let's look for key called non lock now lock right there and let's put it let's put it right here and now if i press that key which now it's on and i press left click it's gonna turn it on if i press it again it's gonna turn it off and i press left click and right click nothing's happening so if i press this key right here on my mouse it's turning on unlock i'm gonna press aiming key i'm gonna press the shooting key and now it the recoil is on okay again and now i'm gonna turn off non-lock 
Okay, by pressing this key again, I just press it again. Now, no lock is off. I'm gonna press my right click, which is my um, aiming button. I'm gonna press my shooting button, and nothing's happening. So this is how you can actually make a simple Lua script like that into a nice require application. Now you can throw grenades all over the place. You can do whatever you want and not have to worry about if the recoil is on off or not have to worry about, um, you know, showing that you're using something on your stream by just pressing the aiming key and the left click. All right. Now you can easily turn it off. All right. That's really cool. So. That's how you guys can can actually add a safe. That, that, that I consider that to be like a safe key, which is a key that works as a method to like turn off or turn on the entire application, basically, right? And safe keys are really useful in my opinion, right? Um, anyways, guys, so I appreciate it. All right, make sure you subscribe to this video, to this channel. Make sure you like the video. All right, make sure you check my website out. Make sure you join my community, my Discord community, and have a nice day.